TubeBuddy and keyword research do go hand in hand together. And I should know because over the last couple months, I've been using my TubeBuddy to buckle down on my keyword research. And now over the lifetime of my channel, my traffic source is dominating with YouTube search. Over 27% of my views are coming from YouTube search alone. And that's why we're gonna be doing this tutorial video today based on TubeBuddy keyword research for beginners tutorial. And let's get started right now. Now, since I won't be walking you through how to download the TubeBuddy extension, I will leave a link in my description below of another video. This way you can check out how to download it before you start your keyword research. All right, so let's start off by launching our TubeBuddy extension. And to do so, go onto Google Chrome. And if you look at the top right-hand corner, you got this red TB and it has a little blue icon. That means that it's logged into TubeBuddy amongst your YouTube channel. Now this has to be done in Chrome since it's a Chrome extension, but if you click it, it's going to automatically launch the TubeBuddy dashboard option. The one that you're gonna start off with is you're gonna scroll all the way down where you see under extension tools, you then have what TubeBuddy calls the keyword explorer. Now with the keyword explorer already open, you're already at a small advantage. You can see that what's trending section. So what this does is it shows you the most trending topics that have been happening in the last 30 days. So for example, the Packers has over 2 million searches. Tom Ford has over 50,000 searches, but you can also filter it based on where you're located. So if I filter it to Canada, I'm not surprised, for example, that I'm seeing Jason Kenney voters turn out Canada 2021. It's because we had our elections yesterday. But this is an awesome feature that you can use if you want to know what's trending and you don't have some video ideas for YouTube. Now, let's say I do have a video idea that I want to use, and I'm going to use this one that I'm talking about right now. So I'm going to start off with one keyword and I'm going to type it in here. And the keyword that I'm going to be choosing in this case is going to be TubeBuddy. Now, if the screen looks familiar, it's because it's the actual score that was in my thumbnail. So let's do a small breakdown of what to expect with this keyword explorer and what all these numbers mean. It's showing that there's an overall score. So this one is poor. The reason why is because TubeBuddy is just a super generalized topic. It's just one word. Now the scores weigh in by color and it has a number scale. So this one is a 10 out of 100. Now with TubeBuddy Keyword Explorer, you have weighed if you're paying for TubeBuddy and you have unweighed. So if I click on unweighed, we can see that the numbers do change a bit and it also doesn't show my channel at the bottom anymore. But for the sake of this video to give you more defined search based on my numbers, I'm gonna switch it back to weighed. Then we have the score information. So the search results, it's simple color format. This one's excellent, really searched amongst YouTube competition weighed so this is weighing in on my channel it's poor there is way too many videos that are being made based on TubeBuddy and because of that it's sitting in the red optimization strength so this one is based on if you're going to pull through and rank on YouTube based on what others have done so this one you're going to actually hover over the question mark and it says this number represents how well optimized the top ranking videos are for this search phrase if they are not well optimized then it provides you an opportunity to break in and rank for the keyword by properly optimizing your video by putting keywords in your title description and your tags so what this means is this color you actually want it to be lower and the reason why is that means that your competition has not been ranking when it comes to their optimization strength which allows you a chance to break in with your video now these two are pretty easy the number of videos in search results there's over 1.53 or 53 million videos and the number of monthly searches so the estimate of people that are searching over 523,000 times a month that these type of videos for TubeBuddy are being searched then you have you versus the top ranked video so your average amount of views coming in from TubeBuddy search results is 11 and a half K or 11.2 K. Uh, the minimum is 273 views. And this is my average for my last seven days amongst my channel. Now, if I was going to make a video just based on the word TubeBuddy alone, I'm probably not going to rank in search. It's too generalized. The good thing about the TubeBuddy keyword explorer is it says, try clicking a keyword in the related panel to find a better score. So related searches are right here. So you have TubeBuddy tutorial, TubeBuddy for YouTube versus vidIQ review. And then you have the one that I'm talking about. So if I go ahead and click there, so then we scored a very good. So TubeBuddy keyword research, because we've added two more words into the mix, it's allowed it to be niched down a little bit more. There's only 357,000 videos compared to the 
1.52 million that just have the word TubeBuddy in it alone. We have our search in yellow, competition in yellow, our optimal strength has moved a little bit. Now I do want to show you some useful tabs when it comes to the TubeBuddy keyword explorer. Now you have the YouTube one by default. I have the star version so I don't get to see the Google one but with video topics it is just that what are some related search video topics that people are utilizing on YouTube and common tags. These are definitely things that you can pop into your video description. You can use them at tags, whatever you may be, but I highly encourage to use these actual words amongst your description too when it comes to your YouTube video. Now another tab on the far left hand side is results. This is a top ranking in the search. So our search results are numbered and it's just very generalized based on the thumbnail and based on the actual title. So this one is exact to what I just searched, TubeBuddy keyword research. But the rest of them are partial keywords that we're seeing throughout the actual titles. Now, in order for us to niche down a little bit more, let's add another word into the mix. Let's go for this one. So related searches. Let's check out TubeBuddy keyword research tutorial. So and then we scored a very good. So even though my search is lower, if I am going to be searched amongst that topic now, I have even less videos to rank against with the competition in green. And this is actually this video topic that I'm talking about now, but I added the word beginner into the mix to niche it down even more. Now, how do we pop this into our video and get started? Well, with TubeBuddy, it allows you to build your video all together. So we're going to go down to the bottom right hand corner where you see action and you're going to click optimize in SEO studio. Now for keywords to rank well in your video, you want them to pop up throughout. You want them on the title, the description and the tags. And in TubeBuddy, it actually has this little agenda here to tell you how to improve your score. So you want to include your target keyword in the title. 80% of your title has to have the keyword. Include the target keyword in the first 60 characters of your title. You want to include the target keyword naturally. Include the target keyword in the first 200 characters of your description and partial keywords. So if I'm going to make this one more natural, the only thing I'm going to do is put a space and I'm going to put for beginners, for example. This way it's more natural and you're going to see that my score is going to change in a moment. Now, what I also want to do is I want to take my TubeBuddy title and I like to pop it in here below. Now, as you can see, my score just changed to 86%. That is because I made my title more natural. I have checked off the fact that the first 60 characters does have the title. And I have also started to put my keywords inside my description. Now, the one thing that I see too many times when it comes to the description is the descriptions have up to 50 characters in length but I see most people don't even fill up the box. Now, let me fast forward a little bit to show you based on this video, what I used when it came to my keywords. So this is what I'm talking about when it comes to your title, your description and your tags using TubeBuddy and making sure you're optimizing in your search. I have the TubeBuddy keyword research. This is the actual title for this video right now. And it's the how to find your keywords. Now I already had my keywords. It's the word TubeBuddy keyword research. You guys found that with me earlier. The only difference is, is I have partial keywords such as just TubeBuddy. I have TubeBuddy keyword research. Anytime I'm going to put in the word keyword research or TubeBuddy throughout this description below, it will populate. And because I want to niche down on it more, I put for beginners tutorial and I defined it more in here. If you populate your description more with your keywords, you will be filtered a lot easier. Now the next column I'm going to do is I'm going to click on tags and I'm going to use my keywords and the tags and it's super simple. All you got to do is click on it. You type in your keyword, you click enter and it will enter it as a keyword. Now the thumbnail section, step three is my absolute favorite. All I got to do is go on the bottom, click upload thumbnail, and I can browse my thumbnail with other competition. This way, if there's something that's standing out amongst these thumbnails that I find I should add into mine, I add it. So we can see one thing when it comes to TubeBuddy is a lot of people have the color chart amongst their thumbnail right here, right here, right here. 
and so I decided to add it into the mix. The color red seems to also be a very dominant color when it comes to these type of thumbnails. So you can use your competition as a friendly guidance on what you should be doing for yours. Now, TubeBuddy does make it easy when it comes to uploading everything that we just did onto YouTube. Now, you wanna save where you're left off by clicking on the bottom right-hand corner, save draft. Then from Google Chrome, go to upload a video on YouTube. Once you go ahead and start downloading or uploading that video towards YouTube, you will then see at the top there's a red TB. If you click there, all you have to do is choose the keyword explorer or the video that you are working on, click there and it will automatically add your title, your description, your tags, and your thumbnail to your video and then all you have to do is upload your video. 